Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the advantages of shooting in camera raw format on your camera instead of shooting in JPEG format. Um, so the reason why I suggest people to shoot in raw format is because um, raw format allows you to preserve all the information on your file and all the information on your photograph. Pretty much is um, shadow, highlight details, anything that you can think of. This will preserve all the information. Um, as opposed to shooting on JPEG where the camera basically it it makes the file size smaller so it throws away a lot of the information on your file so when you go to post process or to edit your photograph afterwards um, you you are essentially throwing away all the details and sometimes you can't edit certain things because the camera did not record the information for the photograph so um, shooting camera raw is my preferred method and these are the reasons why I like it and I'm going to show you how you can bring back a photograph that will be completely trash otherwise you can bring it completely back to life um, by shooting in camera raw. Um, I'm going to reset this photo. This is a photograph that I um, took while I was walking around on the beach. Um, this was just a random day. I was just walking around. I saw a model posing for another photographer and I just snapped a quick photo as I would walk by. Um, and this is what the photo looked like. It's a pretty bad image. It's completely underexposed. Um, it's just completely garbage. Um, but I thought it was a would be a great example to show you how shooting raw format. This is an extreme example. How shooting raw format can really bring photos back to life. So if you're shooting your images pretty well already, and um, you shoot raw format, it'll just be an extra boost and enhancement uh, when you do your post processing. So, so yeah. So shooting completely trashy images like this that um, no good um, is completely underexposed. I'm going to show you my workflow how I develop a raw format file. Um, keep in mind this is a completely underexposed image is no good. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you the first thing I do is that when you shoot camera raw, a lot of people have told me that oh well my image now looks flat. Um, it doesn't look the same as it looked at the back of my screen, of my camera screen. The reason is that a raw format is basically like a lossless file. It has, um, it's a completely flat image and it hasn't, it, the camera hasn't added any of the contrast uh, profiles that the camera already has. So it's a completely flat image and that's why because it wants to preserve details and shadows, highlights and everywhere else. So if you want the picture to look how it looked, like on the back of your screen, all you have to do is on your preferred raw image editor, which I am currently going to be using Lightroom for the sake of this video, but you can use Capture One or Camera Raw or any other raw editor that you like. I prefer using Lightroom for my raw processing. And the thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way down where it says camera calibration. And what it does is my raw file right now is the profile is set to Adobe Standard. So I'm going to go down to this drop down menu and I'm going to select Camera Standard. Camera Standard basically is going to show me what I saw on the back of my screen. There we go. So Camera Standard is, um, it has a little bit more contrast, more pop, exactly how it looks on the back of my screen. It's not as flat as the Adobe Standard profile. So that's what I saw on the back of my screen. It's still pretty underexposed so we're going to begin editing this photo um the first thing that i go is up here if i have a gray card um i will select this little checker box and i would um click on my gray um area look i have like a, this i don't know if this is kind of gray kind of gray i just click on this and this will kind of give me a, a color balance with this checker or you can use a custom color balance and um, move this slider up and down. I'm just going to leave it like that. I just click off this gray paint right there. Uh, next thing is we need to fix exposure on this image and this is where shooting raw is great. If I had shot JPEG, I wouldn't have been able to bring my exposure all the way up and still have details. You see this? If this was a JPEG file, it would have been completely garbage when I did this. You wouldn't have seen none of these details. It would have just been completely distorted. The image would have been completely distorted and it would have been any good. So um, this is extreme. So we bring it to something nice, like maybe out there. Um, 
we have brought it up. I brought it to exposure point plus 250. I'm going to go with my blacks. I'm going to add a little bit of black here. Not too much. Because uh, remember, I was underexposed. So my um, I need some details. Um, this shadow's lighter. I'm going to be bringing back details in the shadows. There. And um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm going to bring actually my exposure just a tad big down. About 238. There you go. And I'm going to make this image warmer because she's at the beach, you know. There we go. You can also move your cautery slider up and down, less or more. This is just extreme, showing you what the clattery slider will do. All right, so um, maybe uh, at like plus two clarity and uh, about plus five vibrance. All right, I prefer to use vibrance um, as opposed to saturation. It'll just, it gives it a boost, uh, but it's not as destructive as the saturation slider. You can use a tone curve also to mess with your shadows and your details here. Darks. I'm going to leave those all at zero. Go to the reds. She's a little bit... Um, her skin is a little bit red, but I can fix... I will be fixing that probably in Photoshop as, and I'll make a mask to fix her skin or whatever. Even though this is a shot that I'm not gonna be using, this is a snapshot that I took. But you can fix um, all the saturations on certain colors with these sliders right here. See, like I got rid of the yellow on the background, which actually kind of makes her stand out a little more. Made everything like nice and cool, made her stand out a bit. messing about with that. There's none of these colors here. Zero. You can mess around with different um, colors on there. And then you have your details here that you can shop on your image, noise reduction, and everything else, less corrections and stuff. But I'm just going to leave my image like that just for sample sake. And I'll show you the difference in this image, you can see, I was able to do this by just shooting camera raw. If I would have shot this on a JPEG file, um, I would have lost all the detail and my image would have been completely distorted. It would have been no good. It was just you wouldn't have been able to save the photograph. So that is the great pro of shooting raw format. Um, the con of shooting raw format is that the file is very large. So as opposed to being able to shoot um, 2,000 images on a 16 gig memory card, like how as you would when shooting JPEG, you will only be able to shoot about 500 images on a 16 gig card. Um, this is just going by my megapixels on my camera. It will be different for everybody else. But a raw, um, a raw file is about three times larger than a JPEG file. And that's, again, because it's preserving all the information on your file so that you can tweak it later on on your post-production um, phase. Um, if you don't really do any post-production on your images and you just shoot and upload, um, then JPEG is great for you. But if you're a professional photographer and you want to have complete control over your final photograph, then I suggest you shoot raw and um, you start taking control over every detail in your photograph. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on why you should shoot raw and um, why this is a great format to shoot in. And thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Bye.